I was disappointed. Maybe someday in the near future. It just seems very peaceful here. So they have a big area for pickleball. Okay, we're ready to show you. I mean, I know the dinosaurs did, but Who? you do? I still would like to see a few other things. A kid in a ball cap. Did he have horns? He had a ball cap. Put them in their campfires and in a heating process. So the cowboys built this. That's the old cattle trough. That's all the way down here. To this other area. What a beautiful place to it end is. the day. One thing that we really love about this place is they got a lot of hummingbirds here. We've got our hummingbird feeder up. I can stand right here and they'll still come right here and sit and eat. It's really, really cool. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life. Hey darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around. Yeah, Michelle. It's from of course. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life. I want to make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. It was good, but not real good. So what was, what would Am you I rate your... Um, um, so my Eggs Benedict, I just got the traditional one because they mm -hmm. actually have like about six options. But I was disappointed. The The hollandaise sauce was a little pungent. On a on scale a, of 10, a 1 to 10. I'd have to actually say like a 6. Yeah. Michelle said nothing mm. still compares to the Eggs Benedict in the villages in Florida, Florida oh my God. at 2J's Gourmet Deli. That was T a really good place. T O O J A Y, two J's. Yeah, and it was cheaper than here. It was yeah. only like eleven dollars and something for it there. Yeah. But. Yeah, that that was the top of the bar. Yeah, if you come to Sherman's Deli, you can't go wrong with their Rubens and their coconut cream pie right. if that's your thing. Yeah. Or what, you what is this, Brian? I don't know. They also have gluten-free options, so they have oh, gluten-free yeah, gluten bread brownie. <laughs> and gluten-free brownie. They also have some gluten-free. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, gosh, are you wanting that brownie? Yes. Pretty thick. Doesn't feel dry. We'll find out. <laughs> Let's move on with our day, shall we? <laughs> More shopping. What? <laughs> shopping. With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one love I want to make it count Come on now and take my hand Well, right next to Thousand Trails Palm Springs RV Resort is a Holland RV crossing our T's and yeah. dotting our I's. We want to make sure we're going to make the right decision. Yeah. We think we found something. We're not going to say what it is yet, just in case we don't want to jinx it. Right. But uh, we're going to take a look here and uh, see what they have. Yeah. See if something changes our mind, like a Class B van. No. Maybe. <laughs> right? Maybe. Maybe someday in the near future. <laughs> so you're not saying near future. there's a chance. Not near future. That was a slip of the tongue. <laughs> Sometimes I just hate leaving the RV resorts that we go to and we really like them. I know. Turn left. 
Where we're at right now is Palm Springs RV Resort. It's a thousand trails actually in Palm Desert. Mm -hmm. But it's really nice. We really enjoy it with all the palm trees. I love it here. If it all starts to crumble. Nice pool area, but we hardly ever use it. We haven't at all since we've been here this time. Right. I think the last time we were here, we mainly just got in the hot tub. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the sites here are sand, so it can be kind of messy getting in and out of your rig. But they do have a few uh, concrete pads as well. If you uh, go along the outside perimeter, there's a lot of concrete pads. I love all the flowers and the palm trees, of course, but the, you get little roadrunners and hummingbirds. It just seems very peaceful here um, for some reason, yet you're close to a interstate somewhat. And we've never felt like we have to worry about our stuff or anything here no, if we've no, left no. it out. do have some pickleball courts too. They have a couple right within the campgrounds. And then they have up by the front uh, clubhouse and office, they have a big area for pickleball. You ready to go to Joshua Tree? I am, I'm excited. I We've know. never been there. Visitor Center. I think we're going to go inside and just double check and make sure our research mm -hmm. is uh, is correct and see if there's anything that we don't know about that we may not want to miss. Yeah. And hopefully we'll go on some hikes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we are. What I read online is that if we are only able to do one trail today, that mm -hmm. the Barker Dam trail is our best bet because it has a large area of joshua trees it had water that attracts birds oh, and nice. ro a lot of rock formations uh -huh. but there's going to be lots of trails like another one we oh, want to do is probably the hidden valley one wow this looks like a multi-day place too oh i'm sure we won't get to everything today <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but we'll try yeah it's 11 o'clock i doubt all right busy here if you pay you get to your left and if you're you have an annual pass you stay to your right they just kept their distance and just flashed the pass at them yeah <laughs> it used to be that you had to hand them your pass they looked at the back and then they asked for your id and they had to make sure you are who you are being a little little bit more relaxed about it right now with covid
have a little snack. We always bring our snacks with us. Gluten-free crackers? We yes. eat out way too much. It's a beautiful sight here, though. And we thought we'd just pull over and go ahead and have our snack. Yeah, one thing I do want to mention is um, in this national park, there are no pets allowed on trails. Oh, really? Right. I think there's actually only one trail mm -hmm. that says you can. So you have to uh, leave the pet in the car when yeah. you go on all the other trails. But <laughs> It's a no, something oasis trail. We'll have our snack, and then we'll show you the view that we're looking at. Yeah. Sorry, you got to wait. <laughs> okay, we're ready to show you. <laughs> Here it is. It's a pile of rocks. Kind of looks more like a fossilized dinosaur poo. It does. For snakes and scorpions. Speaking of desert, yeah. Joshua Tree National Park is actually in between two different deserts. The Mojave Desert and the Colorado Desert. And the... I believe it's the Mojave Desert is on the west side above 3,000 feet and the Colorado Desert is on the east side below 3,000 okay. elevation. Thanks. Fun fact. Any of these trails long or are they all... Well, the two that I have us wanting to go on are um, like an hour each. They oh. like, they're just a loop. That's not too bad. Uh -uh. Show this. This, that's disgusting. Try to remember, leave no trace. Pick up after your dog and yourself. That's disgusting. Yourself? <laughs> you poo out here? Pick up I mean, I know the dinosaurs did, but poo. you do? No. Go shinny up those rocks. Shinny? move on down. There's a lot to see today. Wish it didn't get dark so early this time of the year. Do you ever wonder if days like these last with one another with the feeling past Would you find our with me? This area that we're at now is called Quail Springs. We drove through here. Michelle's gonna use the restroom, but the women's restroom was full of bees. Can't do it. And her and bees don't get along so no, well. I have a... Or should we say she doesn't get along so well with bees? <laughs> a bee phobia. Whatever that is called, that's what I have. Bee phobia. It's not for me to decide. Might be pressed for time. We're gonna come upon this Hidden Valley area first. I think we should just keep going on over to Barker Dam and go ahead and do that trail. And then we'll be coming back this way anyway um, because we, I still would like to see a few other things. It's better to say goodbye. Rock formations are so cool. Yeah, we are here.
I thought it was, at first I thought it was the horns. I thought I saw okay. a long horn, or a long horn, a big horn sheep. That was Turns funny. Out it was a oh, kid. I thought I saw a sheep. Yep, there it is. Nope. Oh, that's a person. It's just a, a kid in a ball cap. Did he have horns? He had a ball cap. Okay. Ball cap, horns, they look similar. trees here the desert Indians used to take sticks and knock off the green cones and then they would take those cones and they would put them in their campfires and in a heating process it would open those cones up and expose those those seeds and also dubbed as a process of uh, roasting the seeds and they say that those pinion seeds exceeds the food value of your commercial nuts probably just threw one in a campfire one night Hey, what's inside here? <laughs> Wonder if it tastes good. <laughs> Poisonous. Great burrito, as said right there. But we're thinking this over here looks more like a burrito Stand standing up. up. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? On the right hand side, we see where it looks like a burrito. This part. <laughs> Here's your burrito. Now I'm hungry for Mexican food. Kiss. Oh, uh, yeah. So this trail is a loop. So we're now coming back around the same area that we came up, I think. trail here is called Barker Dam. And it has maybe a little history. Um, maybe. Like old dam that was built for back in the cattle western you, you get. I you, don't know. You lost me. Yeah. <laughs> no history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, We're on apparently the there there is some history. Oh, okay. So the cowboys built this for their cattle. Uh -huh. And back in the late 1800s and early 1900s, there was actually a lot of rain in this area. Like 10 inches really? annually versus 2 to 5 maybe mm -hmm. now. But it used to be very lush and green opposed to what it looks like now. Just like it, honey. <laughs> yeah. That's 
the old cattle trough, and there used to be something that took the water from the dam to that cattle trough. like a an overlook of like the western you know clear to palm springs and beyond depending on how clear of the day it is and it's getting dark quick too though it's 3 30 so we what really have about an hour pretty much hour an hour and a half These rock formations are really cool. They are. We're at Skull Rock now. This is pretty neat. <laughs> is Cap Rock. To be honest with you, we're trying to rush through a couple of these things because it's getting dark on us. We're always running out of time. Uh, but we're going up to this other area. Tell me again, Michelle. Keys View. I got it now. Keys View. Tenth I will not time. forget. Mm -hmm. Tenth Charm. top of the hill here and there's people everywhere trying to get a get pictures and that and watch the sunset well I decided to stay in the car and Michelle's gonna take the camera she went up and to see if she can't capture a, a shot of uh, of the sunset Found a parking spot. <laughs> this is gorgeous. This is, this is beautiful. Take a look. What a beautiful place to it end is. the day. Too bad it gets dark early, but yeah. uh, this is gorgeous. Yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and uh, we're going to call it a day. See you next week. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>